This is a slightly impromptu extra video because um, I got these through the post this morning. Uh, I got a blue set, a white set, and a multicolour set. This being the multicolour set, let me demonstrate by uh, turning the light off. And we've got blues, reds, yellows, greens. Actually quite attractive, works very well. But the real reason for this video is that the power supply, which is a little switch mode power supply, uh, not long ago was making hissing noises and vapour was coming out of it. Uh, presumably electrolytic uh, capacitor, an uh, electrolytic capacitor inside was venting and it was squirting out of every orifice and coming out of the LED hole. And I unplugged it and then put it up here in shot so we could all see it explode and, and now it's just not exploding which is very disappointed. Very disappointing should I say. So, um, explode. Die you mofo. No, it, it's not going to do it. How odd that it really was giving it big licks earlier on. Now it's just kind of stopped. So um, let's open it up and take a look inside. Is this is where it explodes as I'm handling it. So um, usual arrangement. Oh, it's uh, got a label. Let's see what the label says. Label says output 5 volts, 500 milliamps, 110 to 220 volt, 50, 60 hertz, 0.1 amp. Okay, so it's a sort of USB a type type thing. Ooh, I can see uh, it's a bit wet. It's a bit glossy and shiny in there. Let's hope it's not particularly unpleasant, that uh, chemical. Bleh. Ah. Right, the electrolytic, the main electrolytic, is bulging at the top and is a bit wet round the base, suggesting that maybe it's been squirting out round the base. But uh, let's see if the polarity is right. So the positive, the diode's going positive to there, positive to there. The polarity appears to be right. So why would it vent and then just continue working as if nothing had happened, unless it's just blown itself clear? But I would have thought that would affect the operation of the circuit. Interesting, this is just a single transistor circuit with really poor separation. What is that track doing there? Why would there even be a track to the opto-isolator on that side? Yeah, that's weird. Look, there's the opto-isolator would normally provide feedback, but they've just not got it connected. They've, they've got that pad's disconnected, that pad's disconnected. Uh, it looks like they've just removed it from the circuit because they've gone to a super simple self-regulating type non-critical circuit. But they've just added this rogue track which has just defeated the separation. And that track's just not even needed at all. How odd. So what's it like in the output? The output has a very small 1N418 style diode and output. 100 milliamp max, if that. 10 volt, 220 microfarad. One K resistor and sears the LED. And then positive going to the blue and negative going to the black. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a wee look at that circuit. That's quite interesting. It's a single transistor version. It's very, very basic. Yeah, so I'm kind of disappointed it didn't blow up for you. But, you know, um, oh, these things happen. We can't expect them to go bang on cue all the time. Um, if you want me to make it go bang, then just let me know in the comments down below and I'll modify it so it does go bang.